so welcome back guys today we are solving code for c code on round 6 problem c colorful table so in this question we are given a two integer n and k here n is the size of the array and k is means all element of the array are less than or equal to k now we have to define two dimensional array of b of size n cross n such that b of i j equal to mean of a i and a j means two dimensional array b is constructed from using array a right now for each color 1 to k find the smallest rectangle in array b containing all cell of this color and we have to output some of the width and height of this rectangle put pattern first line contain number of test cases which is less than or equal to 10 to the power 4 and then we are given two integer n and k then we are given array of size n here sum of the value of n and k over all test cases does not exceed 10 to the power 5 means we have to output solution which runs in n log n n log n square means it's give TLE in O of n square solution okay for output for each color 1 to k we have to output sum of width and height of the smallest rectangle which contain all cell of a color okay let's see the test case so here n equal to 2 k equal to 2 then we are given array of size n let let's create array b so b of 1 1 equal to mean of array 1 and array 1 means mean of 1 comma 1 which is equal to 1 and b of 1 comma 2 equal to mean of array 1 and array 2 which is equal to mean of 1 comma 2 equal to 1 likewise i fill the table and let's find the height and width of color okay so for color 1 uppermost one is here and lowermost one is here so height equal to 2 and likewise leftmost one is here and rightmost one is here so width equal to 2 so we have to output 4 and for color 2 we can see that uh, the height equal to 1 and width is also 1 so we have to output 1 okay so we have to output 4 comma 1 in this case in this test case okay let's see the key observation always width and height is same let's see in this table so let's say 2 1 which is comes out to be 1 so there always exists 1 2 which is also 1 right and uh, let's say 5 1 which is 1 so in sorry here 5 1 so there also exists 1 5 which is here right so let's check the width width is 4 so height is also 4 because they are same in diagonal right so we clear that we have to just find the width how to find width let's see second observation we just need to find leftmost index and rightmost index element which is greater and equal to the current element let's see how we can find it why we just need to find out leftmost index and rightmost index of element which is greater and equal to current element because if we find out this we got the width and from width we got the answer right so why it is allowed so let's see let's say for 3 leftmost element which is greater than 3 is 6 and uh, rightmost element is 4 so mean of 6 comma 3 comes out to be 3 so at uh, b b of 1 comma 3 exists a 3 right means b of 3 comma 1 okay b of 3 comma 1 exists a 3 right and at b of 3 comma 5 always exists in this matrix 3 because mean of 3 comma 4 is 4 so we got the width which comes out to be 5 so height is also 5 
so our answer is 25 right let's say 4 4 5 right leftmost index is 6 and uh, rightmost index is 7 so at 2 comma 1 at this uh, 5 right and uh, 2 comma 4 at this uh, 5 so we got the width right which is 4 so height is also 4 so answer comes out to be 16 okay let's see now how to find leftmost index and rightmost index it's we can find it using two pointer let's see how we can find out this let's find the leftmost index and rightmost index using two pointer so left pointer l point to the left side of the array and r is the rightmost element in array and we iterate over 1 to k okay and here 1 is not present so we will push back 0 comma 0 same for 2 and for 3 we check left pointer l element and pointer r element greater greater than equality current element if yes then we will push the, the index for 4 we check leftmost element is 6 and rightmost is 4 they are greater than equal to if yes then we will push back to it right and now for 5 we will check leftmost element 6 which is greater but rightmost element is not greater then we do r minus minus so it will point to here now it is greater okay then we will push back it and for 6 leftmost element 6 which is greater than or equal to yes and 7 which is also greater than or equality so we'll push back it for 7 leftmost element is not greater than we do l plus plus so l point to here but phi is not also greater so it's we again do l plus plus 3 is not also greater than we again do l plus plus now it is greater or equality so we'll push back it right let's see the code part first i take the input then map of ll into pair ll comma ll for saving the leftmost index and rightmost index then i use two pointer if leftmost and rightmost element is greater than current element then i will push into the map leftmost index and rightmost index then do ptr plus plus and if it's if it is not then according to i move the pointer and for 1 to k i will check if it is not in array then we have to output 0 otherwise we have to output width which is equal to rightmost index minus leftmost index into plus 1 into 2 thank you